already one though. <laughs> Good morning and uh, happy Women's Day to all of you. Thank you. Respected uh, Sri Bandaru Tattafiya Ji, Anirvapur Parliament, Sri N. Ramchandra Rao Ji, Member of Lacey Council, and uh, Sri Jay Sanjan, uh, Secretary to Committee of Telangana, and all my uh, colleagues, all my uh, yeah, office bearers of uh, COWE, Madam Lalita, Madam Sandhya Reddy, and recently all of you under by Madam Kiran Ongyal. I am very happy to be here because uh, this is one forum, this one place where I always want to be. I represent State Bank of India and uh, I am the one who is doing all the MSME financing in the whole state of Telangana. If you look at the uh, total MSME credit in the state, we as SBI handle more than 12,000 crores in MSME only, micro, small, medium enterprises. And we are happy to know out of that, more than 30 percent, around 3,200 crores to only self help groups in the state. Very, very high figure because we are one state. We are one state where it is a large number of women in all the areas, in urban, in rural, in metro centers also, come forward to have entrepreneurship. I'll tell you one more figure. We recently have started the, something called a CSP, Customer Service Points, where you can get the basic banking service, like which one of rupee or 2000 rupees or your statement of account. Very basic service you can get in the villages. Where you cannot reach, it's called banking in unbanked areas. In that also, out of the 2300 CSPs we have, more than 900 are by women. Wow. More than 900 by all, many of your colleagues, many of your friends in the rural area, they are the CSPs. And we boast, we are proud to be a state where such a large participation of women is there in banking. Now, uh, I'll tell you because we share a lot of uh, uh, thoughts with government and uh, I'm happy, uh, Secretary, Mr. Chairman has helped us in many of the areas. This state has promoted the Stand Up India scheme very well. I will tell you basics. Stand Up India is only for three categories of uh, people in this uh, country. One is first is women, then SC and SC entrepreneurs. It is only addressed to these three groups to make them empowered and to make them entrepreneurs. And again, out of the 1,500 we did Stand Up India schemes, again more than 40% are women. So it is large way, it is large way. I am very happy that uh, COWE has been doing a lot of work with us. I have been visited many of their initiatives, including Mutra, Stand Up India, Self Help Group. Everywhere we found that entrepreneurship in women is coming every day, increasing every day. I will tell you some of my thoughts about entrepreneurship because all of you are here. <coughs> first thing is, first and foremost part of entrepreneurship is enthusiasm. We have seen many people coming up on the way, take a task, after some time the enthusiasm goes away. So whenever you meet the people, I will never meet entrepreneurs, I always tell them to continue the spirit, continue the momentum till you achieve a higher milestone. Continue forever, let's say. We give credit, we also monitor these activities, but where the enthusiasm goes off, the activity goes off. The second part is, as already said by many of the speakers, we need collaborators. I have a bank, I can finance. Let's say government can policies, members of the assembly can form the policy for the country or the state. But we need somebody to mix and match. Somebody to take these policies, banking, technology to the women. There I find the role of COWE or the role of uh, We Hub, role of UIST. These are all the collaborators in the state who are taking all these initiatives forward. So I am very happy that this state has several collaborators who are taking our initiatives, government initiatives to the ladies and is coming up in a big way. Coming to the collaboration, not only finance but also human resource management, marketing, all parts of the marketing abilities of entrepreneurs universe required. Yesterday I was attending a function by one of the organizations called Diki. So they are also promoting 100 tribal men and women uh, they are studied in ISB Hyderabad to be entrepreneurs and all will be our Stand Up India 
customers or Sun of India entrepreneurs. So every organization is uh, trying to have these initiatives and COI is one of them. Finally, I must say that, as already said by many of you, think beyond. But here, we have to go ahead. And all of you, all of us, banks, government, everybody is always all, all with you. And I'm, my best wishes to see you and all of you together. Thank you. a very active personality, very disciplined, and a very, very humanitarian person. So, may I request Ram Chandra to please come here. Sir, you can speak from there. Today's chief guest, Sri Manda Tata Daji, this is how the Kove, Maji, Aluri, Dalita, even the challenge I hear. Today's other guest and keynote speaker, C. Jayesh Sanjit Vermaiyas, Secretary of the Government of Telangana, Srimati Satyamani Garu, Sri Devakis Mishra, DGM State Bank of India, and Srimati Kiran Uniyal, who has just now performed, given some performance with regard to the martial arts, members of the COVID, Women in Enterprises, members of the media, and <coughs> their friends who are present here, who are from the media field, and their sisters. Let me, at the outset, wish you all a very happy Women's Day today. And on this occasion, it's very right uh, opportunity that the women come together and think of more enterprising nature, more enterprising <coughs> ventures to be taken up by women in the coming days. We have seen now women in all the fields, almost right from defense to the rural area. The, one of the pilots who was uh, there in the surgical, first surgical flight in Uli, one of the pilots, a woman pilot. So we are proud of women who are not only adding to the GDP of this country, but also protecting the country. They are contributing to the defense of the country. And definitely, we must congratulate them. I think now the stage has come where there cannot be any comparison between women and men as well as workplace are concerned. We are definitely, you know, uh, equal, a par with each other in all the fields. So being an advocate, I have seen many judges, women judges, who are performing better than male judges. The judgments are very... Now we have two Supreme Court women judges today in Supreme Court. So therefore, women in all fields are now uh, competing with the men equally, so there cannot be any inferiority or anything like that. Uh, two things I would like to mention on this occasion is that they, we have seen uh, rural women, basically, right from BD worker. They contribute not only to the family, but also to the nation's economy. That is very important. Right from BD worker to the women enterprises, doing multiple growth business. And it is the women who have been contributing more to the economy in recent times. Uh, Mr. Javajit Mishra would not contradict me if I say that in Mudra alone, where majority of the beneficiaries are like 70 to 80 percent of women. So therefore, women enterprise through Mudra Road, they are more in numbers. They are 70 to 80 percent, that was the government figure. So that shows how many women enterprises are there in the informal sectors. Now coming to the other aspect, <coughs> definitely, and even the government of India's program Stand Up, Stand Up India, where up to 10 crores, the government of India through banks and then SBI is lead bank for it. They are giving a lot of uh, encouragement to the women enterprises apart from Dalits and other uh, 
uh, underprivileged people. The women are getting a lot of uh, financial help from the banks through the Government of India's program. And uh, thirdly, I would like to <coughs> say that uh, just now, Timothy Kiran Unyal has uh, said with regard to the martial art, the matter of concern, women's security is definitely a matter of concern for us. Two recent incidents in Hyderabad and Warangal, where Anita, one girl, was you know, attacked with a sickle and she was admitted to the hospital. And very recently in Warangal, a girl was, you know, acid was thrown by her batchmate and she succumbed to death. So they were, these are the matter of concern where women should be women's security. Prime Minister Narendra Modi always says, you don't worry about where your daughters are going, worry about where your sons are going and where they are going. It is because of sons these problems are coming, that's what Narendra Modi said. So therefore the matter of concern is women's security. Security in all places. We have seen this upsurge in you know, reporting of Me Too cases and all. The liar, I remember the Vishaka case, the famous Vishaka case, we are prompted and um, uh, provoked to say it because uh, after hearing this Kiran Nuniya with regard to the women harassment of workplaces, sexual harassment in workplaces, and then the Supreme Court directions are there, guidelines are there, where every workplace there should be a committee to check these things. And today, unfortunately, we don't have such committees in many of the workplaces where women are still subjected to harassment and it is unreported. Recently, in the council, legislative council, I rose, I had <coughs> raised the subject and I, my home minister was present and I told him that women harassment in this, uh, in this uh, state, majority of the women harassment are not being reported because they don't want to come out openly. So these things have to be covered. Thirdly, when it's coming to social, economic and all, we need equality. And last word, I belong to a political party. I would like to say about my party also, that firstly, Narendra Modi has inducted two women ministers of top position. There are six ministers, women ministers, two top ministers, and one in the defense uh, ministry, and one in the external affairs ministry. And today, both are playing a very pivotal and key role in the present situation. That you have to So, without uh, their participation, I think, you know, we, would, we would not have seen the present position where India stands, you know, very strong even in diplomatic relations and the international scenario. And then uh, <coughs> coming to my own party here. In Telangana, we have three women district presidents, three district presidents. And they are doing better than men. I mean, the other is there in Japanese, every on it. And we have given ticket to all the three for a million. They lost that is a different matter, but we have given them. So we need political, social, and economic equality of women. We don't distinguish uh, men and women like that because I treat my daughter equal to my son because I have I raised her. And today, she has an entrepreneurial nature in her. She was a working woman. Now she gave, made a sabbatical leave for two months to do something on her own. So that is her uh, I mean, enthusiasm. So I see the enthusiasm is more in women as just now Mr. <coughs> Devashya said that they are increasing enthusiasm there and it should be there for entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs. And I wish that Kobe would definitely uh, in the future, coming future, uh, coming uh, <coughs> days, definitely involve more and more women enterprises and grow. Because already in one and a half decade, you have made 10 chapters. I wish that you grow further. Last one month, because I <coughs> just know I heard uh, one of the participants uh, narrating a Kavita. And I was a student days when I used to hear one slogan by Ham Bharat ke Nari hai. Full nahi chingari hai. If you see what, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Aapke bolne se yaad aaya. Bhute le har bolo ke mu se humne suni kahani thi. Khub ladi mardani ho to. Chhasi wali raani thi. Thank you so much for inspiring all of us. Now I invite the chief guest of the day, Sri Pandadu Randhadrayaru. All of us know him as a very, very warm person. He needs no introduction. A very, very warm-hearted, very friendly, very, very kind human being. He is known as Dattana to most of his friends. He never turns down anybody who goes to his door with a cry for help. He is a philanthropist. He was also known, uh, he was the union minister in the cabinet of uh, Sri Atul Bihari Vajpayee. He's a very ha large hearted person as I told you and he 
is the one who has this trademark program called Alai Bulai, which people wait for in anticipation. So let's all welcome him with a huge round of applause. Sir, over to you. Today, I'm very happy that Confederation of Women Entrepreneurs of India, our Telangana chapter, arranged this conference on this occasion. The, our <coughs> MSC, N. Ramchandaragal, and our Federation, Telangana chapter president, Srimati Aluri Dalitagaru, and our board director, Sayyadha Ridigam, and I'm happy that she's the founder of the And Srimati Kiran Junyaji, and our SBA DGM, Sri Deshi Shubhishraji, and our very philanthropist organization, and very spiritual leader, our Satyavadi Garu, and our very active, <coughs> proactive principal secretary of industries and commerce, Sri Jayesh Ranjanji, and sisters and brothers. Mr. Paul, I will congratulate all of you. You are coming forward for starting some entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship and skill is very essential. Without skill, entrepreneurship cannot be profited. Unless skills are there, I feel that not only in India, the entire world, the most skilled persons are women only. Women have got all the skills. From birth to birth to the end of the life. They are in the skills. Just now, I am happy to have the energy. Our skill, when I have seen that, how to enforce the strength, how to enforce the strength in our own martial arts, she became a very unique personality. I will congratulate her. Being a woman, such a dareness is necessary. Such a dareness is necessary. Dareness and confidence are most essential. So, the entrepreneurship, particularly our honorable Prime Minister, Narendra Modi has come out with many new initiatives. New initiatives. And also I am happy that here the Telangana government also taking forward, taking forward the new initiatives. Mostly women enterprises. Women enterprises as per the as per the uh, regard, as per the regard, since our our COVID, uh, our our confederation of our industries. Our, our uh, women members in this regard, 1,000 plus members in the United States, in Kauai organization, alone you have registered these people. This is a very great organization and helping, helping <coughs> many other business, entrepreneurship and skills. I will definitely congratulate them. And Modi, our honorable Prime Minister, has a vision. Uh, he has a vision that India should become number one in the superpower like a world. That's why he started a small, small independence. Small, small independence, not only big, big independence. Small, small independence. He started Mudra Rooms. Mudra Rooms are giving very good results. Even Small bidders, and I will even not bidders, even the intermediate class girl. In my experience, I am telling, in my constituency, when I have uh, gone around, one girl, she is not a pastor, even intermediate. She asked me to help me to purchase five 
Turning machines. Fire turning machines. Fire turning machines. Then I said, our uncle was there. I told our uncle, let's see somewhere, small location. Small location. Immediately he said, no sir, our own, our garage is there. We will convert it to a center. Then I told to, I told to bank people and I connected them and immediately she got Mutra. Immediately she got Mutra. And Mutra no, and without any surety, without any surety she got Mutra. And now after one year, when I got, when I went to there, that place, she improved from 5 to 15 dollars. I have 15 dollars. And she is giving employment for 25 people. She is giving employment for 25 people. So like that, small, small entrepreneurs. Small, small entrepreneurs, they will get maximum benefit. Maximum benefit. In this scheme, the Pradhanamantri Udrayavana scheme, is now the scheme with the 7 crore 23 lakh. 7.23 lakh crores. And approximately, as per my knowledge goes, as per my knowledge goes, nearly 3 crore people have taken the roles. And I am happy to say that 70% of them are women. 20% of them are women. 70% of them are women. 70% of them are women. Vegetable vendors. The micro, see, micro sector is how to support in Andhra and Telangana. How the suicides have taken place. I don't. All the self-help groups also. They used to suffer. Now, there is no such scandals. There is no such scams. Now, Modi ji has totally eradicated them and initiated the Mudra scheme. That's why Telangana and Andhra no suicide family. Microfinance, many ladies, they have taken finance from the microfinance and they suffered. They suffered humiliations. They could not pay. Then the fellow was teasing. Then many suicides have taken place in Andhra and Tana. At the time, Ashwin and Andhra Pradesh was there. It was become a big issue. I don't have any problems. I don't have any problems. So, if you have a good skill, if you have a good skill, I am very confident. I have every time, as a labor minister, I reviewed Tarangana Mudra schemes. Mudra schemes. I am happy that 90% disbursement has taken place and 90% is recollection has come. Returns have come. Long term has come. But we have to do a lot of work. लोन देने में खुशी रहता है, लोन लेने में खुशी रहता है, लोन फिर वापस देने में तकलीफ रहता है। लेकिन हाँ, बैंक सिस्टम से, ट्रांसफर सिस्टम से, हम लोग रिस्पांसिबल हैं, तो इसलिए उदास टीम, ये बनाना थी बेस्ट टीम। यार ये भी गुड रिजल्ट्स। सी माय डे डे लव माय राम नगर, मछली बेचने वाले ले लिए मैंने वो रोड पर बैठ के मछली खींची तो उसने 50 लाख लोन लिया सीर के पास 50 लाख लोन लिया अबे नाउ सी द के पास लिया वन ऑफ ट्रो तो कोई मैंने स्टोर नहीं बोलूं ये लोगों को मैं इंटरेस्ट देना चाहता हूँ आपके इंस्टीट्यूशन में मेरा रिक्वेस्ट माय रिक्वेस्ट इज टू सी द सर्च Uneducated ladies, and they go still jala hai. Oh, that's my ship. That's my ship. Un logo ko, aap log, aap ke federation me lijiye, aur unko aur jada madad kijiye. Main samajh sun, wo log bhi aap ke saath competition karenge. Most necessary, most necessary. Jaisa mere ek relative. ये रिलेटेड है वो बच्ची मैं एमकाम की है फिर मुझे पूछिए क्या करना तो मैं बोला तो मैं एमकाम की 
동금이 나게 나오게 되는 거다. 그럼 하차로 그럼 나서 나오게 되는 거지. 그럼 나오게 되면 맞아 나서 나오게 되는 거지. 스위스는 그렇게 나서 받아. 만약에 만약에 그렇지 않고 공사 하차 대신 공사 하차. 아니 그런 거 나서 나서리 못 쓰고서 나서리 무슨 일이야 무슨 일? मैं एक पांच लाख दस लाख लगा लेते हैं, फाइव लाख टेन लाख सही क्या नफा लगा लूँ, लेकिन मेरे को बैंक से कुछ हेल्प के लिए मैंने बैंक को पढ़ा चलो बैंक, पांच हजार लगा लूँ, पाले हेल्प किया, अभी नाउ दर गर्ल, दर लेडी, हम इसी साले फोर नर्सरीज, फोर नर्सरीज स्टार्ट किया, और पचास लोगों ये गए अपर में तो वो सब जो मैं ही ना किसी के तो इसलिए मेरा विचार है गांव लोगों में अच्छे बात होने गांव लोगों में अच्छा बात होने और मोनी गवर्नमेंट ट्रांसपेरेंट गवर्नमेंट है जब देश में ट्रांसपेरेंसी आएगा सब सीधा होगा करप्ट फ्रेंड थ्री गवर्नमेंट करप्ट फ्रेंड थ्री लेकिन मेरा रिक्वेस्ट है तो � Bureaucracy, not particularly telling anybody, bureaucracy also should be more friendly. More friendly, more transparent. My mantra, so as a responsible say, my woman. Banks will be my request channel. Most friendly than I say. So don't be suspicious. My only thing is, middle man should be eliminated. There should not be any middle man. If any middle man is there, then commission starts. Industry other Achama, middle man. Is there my labor minister? Can I have to say? When I was a labor minister, I started labor reforms. Labor reforms. Simplification. Simplification of labor laws. And I am happy to inform you that now no inspector laws. No inspector laws. Again, Random inspection, inspection with a computer is there. Random inspection with a computer. Now the inspection, no inspector admit. Now inspector, inspection is now has gone to 90%. Inspections increased by a computer. The system is there. So you see my labor market is better and better. Better and better. And better. Earlier government, when it was only 12 weeks, now I increased it to 26 weeks. <laughs> Most essential part for all now. It's like many things are there. Our, uh, our Rajanji also will tell many things. They are politicians. We don't want to go into details. But only my request is, महिला महिला जो शुरू करता है वो शुभ होता है महिला जो शुरू करता है वो शुभ होता है शुभ होता है इतना ही नहीं मेरे विश्वास है महिला अगर इंडस्ट्री शुरू करती तो 90 परसेंट सक्सेस हो जाएगा कोई इसमें फेल नहीं होता और प्रॉफिट 100 परसेंट है आप आप जानते हैं अच्छा क्यों कैसा प्रॉफिट आना कहाँ क्या बचाती करना हूँ? आप जानते हैं, हम नहीं जानते, हम जैसा बोलो वैसा मन मारा कर सकते हैं, महिला वैसा नहीं करती है, मेरा नहीं करती है, तो इसलिए मेरा बहुत विश्वास है, हमें सभी सरकार को नरेंद्र मोदी का सरकार बहुत कुछ अच्छा किया है, हमें सभी सरकार को मैं एक दो छोटे विषय को आपके सामने Women enterprise, out of 25 percent procurement mandated from MSME, three percent must now be reserved for women enterprise. Three percent for women. And here it is technology operation. Technology operation is most important, most essential in any faculty. Without technology, we cannot go ahead. With the technology. We can provide more employment. 
more planning. That's why the Modi's government has announced 6,000 crores package to facilitate better technological support and tools to the small industries. This is one of the major you see, contribution to the Modi's government. And now I'm happy that the MSME, MSME clusters, 70% cost of the establishment, these clusters will be borne by the government itself. Many initiatives have been taken, and I have already told you the Inspector Raj. Inspector Raj, particularly we confined to inspections, factories, for the MSMEs, it will be random inspection. Random inspection through computerization. And the portal, within 45, 48 hours, the inspector should complain the report on the computerization. दो दो महीना, तीन तीन महीना, पांच पांच महीना, आप लोगों को जो है, सड़ाई जाता था, अभी ऐसा नहीं है, कुछ भी है, पांच एक अवर्स में उसने पता देना पड़े, तो इसलिए मैं आपको इतना ही कहूँगा, तलंगाना में, तलंगाना में आप लोग आगे आइए, और फेडरेशन है, मैं आपका पूरा साथ देऊँगा, और साथ देके आपको � बहुत बड़े-बड़े पढ़ने का जरूरत नहीं, बहुत बड़े-बड़े पढ़ने का जरूरत नहीं, लेकिन यार बहुत, बहुत, मेरी ऐसे जेबर मिनिस्टर आया था लेकिन यार इसी जगह आई वेंट टू जर्मनी, आई वेंट टू जर्मनी, आई हैव सीन इसी लॉट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज, लॉट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज, नवे डेज इट हैज बिकम more technology oriented. But in India, most difficult part for you also. You also, human power. Human power. The gap is there. Demand and supply gap is more is there. Many human enterprises, enterprises, they start an industry, but they are unable to get the skill level. Skill level. That's why we want to start all the skill centers. At the district level, at the district level, every faculty, every faculty should have a training. Training. In my constituency in Balapeli, ITI, I started, I collaborated ITI with the industry. All ITI should be collaborated with the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to do the same thing. You have to do the same thing. वहाँ वहाँ इंडस्ट्री के साथ कोलाबोरेट कीजिए कोलाबोरेट करने के बाद उसका रिजल्ट अच्छा है मैं मले मिली मेरा आईटीआई मेरा गांव से चले उसके लिए मैं दस करोड़ रुपए दिया और वो थोड़ा अच्छा रिजल्ट दिया है धन का धन रोज़ है और मेरे ये स्किल डेवलपमेंट बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है फैन बोल आपको नहीं म और यार सफरिंग विकास और मैं तो घूमना है, मिलते हैं काम वाला मिलते हैं, ना वो देर दोनों साल के लिए इंक्रीज, तो इंटरेस्ट इन इंक्रीज, इसलिए आप लोग बहुत सेंसेशनल पार्टीज देखें, डिमांड और सफरे, डिमांड और सफरे बहुत है, टेक्सटाइल में, टेक्सटाइल सेक्टर इस बिगेस्ट सेक्टर, टेक्सटाइल इसलिए मैं आपको रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ आप लोग भी प्रोटेक्शन के साथ आप लोग भी कुछ स्किल सेंटर्स में स्किल सेंटर्स में स्किल सेंटर्स इसमें स्किल सेंटर्स लीजिए और वो स्किल सेंटर्स को गवर्नमेंट के साथ लिंकअप करेंगे गवर्नमेंट के साथ लिंकअप करके आप के तरफ से भी अगर आप चार पांच तलेगाना में शुरू more, 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 more young entrepreneurs. More young entrepreneurs. आगे आना है, आगे आना है। मुझे बहुत खुशी है यार। आप सब लोगों को देखने के बाद, सब लोगों को देखने के बाद और yesterday was the international woman day. International woman day. International woman day. अच्छे अच्छे लोगों को जो मैंने हर फील्ड में देखा, महिला 
सब फील्ड में पुरुषों से ज्यादा आगे महिला आगे प्राउड फॉर अस इज ए प्राउड फॉर अस और ज्यादा एनकेज करना महिलाओं को ज्यादा एनकेज करना एनकेज करके और महिला का जो सेल्फ रेस्पेक्ट है महिला का जो सेल्फ रेस्पेक्ट है मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट वो सेल्फ रेस्पेक्ट को हम सब प्रोडक्शन करना और उसको आगे बढ़ाना महिला डिग्निफाइड है महिला का सेल्फ रेस्पेक्ट मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट तो इसे दो बातों को भी हम ध्यान में रखकर भारत में भारत में महिलाओं को और आगे बढ़ाना उसमें मैं आगे रहने का मैं बराबर कोशिश करूँगा मुझे इसमें बुलाकर भाग लेने का जो मौका दिया हमारे फेडरेशन के प्रेसिडेंट नरेंद्र जी को मैं फिर तरह से हार नहीं बढ़ाई थैंक यू धन्यवाद सर मूविंग है प्रेस They're doing small activities, but they're all profitable. They're all paying loans regularly. We don't have any NPA in certain groups. Oh, that's, that's really excellent, and I think you know we all should be proud of ourselves, isn't it? Okay, and so as said, uh, we should really encourage young women to turn themselves into entrepreneurs. Taking this ahead, we have invited uh, two colleges to sign an MOU with us from Young Coed. May I request the Young Coed team to please step forward? We have two colleges here who are here to sign an MOU. One is uh, the Government Degree College for Women, Bego Pet, whose principal, Mr. G. Yadavi, is here. Sir, please come forward. And uh, I think Director of St. Peter's College, uh, Dr. Saroj uh, Hedigar, who is also here. May I request her to please step forward, please? Thank you, Bhayagiri Garu. And now we have director from Saint Peter's College, Ms. Sarosha Devi. Three cheers to Young Kovey. 
for uh, signing up their memories. Wishing them all the very best. And hope they will definitely take this essence of entrepreneurship forward. Now, I uh, request our uh, president to kindly hand over a memento to our chief guest, Sri Pandit Dattatrey who was kind enough to grace the occasion and share his thoughts with us. These beautiful mementos are made by our Joint Secretary, Mrs. Karna Rao, who is right on the stage here. The beautiful mementos which he represents with us year on year. And uh, uh, memento to Sri Devashish Mishra ji. is Think Equal, Build Smart and Innovate for Change. And we have a small discussion which will be moderated by our secretary, Ms. Josna Cheru, and uh, our uh, special guest and keynote speaker, Sri Jayesh Ranjini, will be here on the panel discussion to share his valuable thoughts. Joined up uh, by Srimati Satyamani Garu. Thank you, Shailja Ridi Garu, our uh, founder, president for COE. 